Mollusks are one of the most successful groups of animals on the planet, together with arthropods and nematodes, and may be the most successful uh, animals in marine environments. They are quite diverse, but there are features which are generally shared, such as the presence of a mantle. This is the layer of epithelia which secretes the shell. The mantle encloses a space, a mantle cavity, where the soft organs are located, and this cavity can be filled with water or air, and uh, the water or air can then be the source of the oxygen used in respiration. Uh, the shell is composed of uh, proteins like conchiolin, which then incorporates calcium carbonate along with the protein, in addition to chitin. Uh, so uh, the shell is made of these substances, although mollusks have varied and some groups have reduced or lost their shells, like cephalopods, while early uh, squid uh, relatives possessed uh, shells and were quite successful, only the nautilus still retains this outer shell today. Um, most uh, cephalopods lack uh, shells, as do uh, some other groups, such as slugs. This may be a, an adaptation for lower availability of calcium carbonate. A second significant feature shared by most mollusks is the foot. Uh, you can observe uh, the foot here in uh, clams and in snails. It is highly muscular and has been adapted for diverse purposes. In snails, it is this foot, which then secretes mucus and muscle contraction then allows the snail to slide along uh, this mucus layer. In clams, the foot then allows the clam to burrow into sediment. Um, in many clams, uh, the entire uh, organism is uh, buried and thus protected with only the siphons uh, extruding. Um, in cephalopods, the foot can then be divided uh, into tentacles, which can bear uh, suckers. Uh, and so the muscle contractions here can uh, be used to attach to a substrate, uh, to uh, burrow, to move along a substrate, or in the case of the cephalopods, for jet propulsion. 